Andy Secor here from Make Shots Basketball Training with part two of our series on the first seven things I look at when I analyze a shot on film or in person. So today we're on shooting pocket location. So Make Shots terminology, the shooting pocket is where the player puts the ball off the catch or off the dribble to start their shot. So just think where the shot originates is the shooting pocket. So one of the things, first things that kids and coaches and parents ask me when we start talking about the shooting pocket is where should it be? That really depends on two things. First, how many shots are you making, which is what everything and every shot analysis and adjustment should start on. And second, how is that shooting pocket impacting your makes or misses? So first let's talk about height. So I train great shooters with low shooting pockets, medium level pockets, and high shooting pockets. Obviously the main advantage to a low pocket is that you can create a longer shooting tunnel and therefore create more power. The advantage to a high pocket is twofold really, is that the shot is simpler and easier to repeat. And then second, you can get it off quicker. So instead of talking about the height, let's also talk about a little bit of, um, you know, is the shooting pocket, where is it? Is it left of your middle? Is it in the middle of your body? Is it on the opposite side of your body? Again, people ask me what's best. It's really is connected to your release point. So if your pocket is on your right hip as a right-handed shooter and the release is right of your nose, that's a pretty straight, what we call an A to B move. Same if your pocket is in the middle and your release is in the middle. How, and same if the pocket is you know, on the opposite side of your shooting hand and your release is there. However, we get into trouble when the ball moves horizontally from pocket to release. That adds a twisting and turning to the shooting process that impacts shots a lot of different ways. Let's look at some things here on film that I think will be, help us to illustrate things a little bit better. So, Theron Halleck, a super talented sophomore from Forest Hills Central and plays for NBA. We'll watch her here in slow motion. You can see as she catches, right there is where her shooting um, pocket is because that's where it started. So you can see that she's pretty high and middle. You know, that ball is right in the middle of her body and it's pretty high uh, in terms of where a shot would start. So her shooting uh, pocket is high and it's middle, which equates to her middle release. So she moves the ball from high middle right to a high, a high middle release. So there's a pretty good correlation there uh, in terms of, but that's an example of kind of a high shooting pocket that's in the middle. If we look here at Jillian Brown, Jillian has a high shooting pocket that's a little bit off to the right. Um, junior for East Grand Rapids, plays for NBA, uh, recently committed to the University of Northwestern. So you can see when she catches here, right there. So her pocket is a little bit right of center. It's not right in the middle of her body. It's a little bit off her chin, um, but she moves the ball straight from an A to B because her release is a little bit right of her chin. So both Theron and Jillian pocket the ball really high. Jillian's a little bit offset to the right. Theron's is a little bit more in the middle. Uh, here's Allie Carlson. Uh, sophomore guard from East Grand Rapids, also plays for NBA, a uh, handful of college basketball offers at the Division I and Division II level. Allie's pocket is a little bit more middle, so it's not super high, it's not super low, probably closer to her chest, whereas if we were to look back um, like at Theron's pocket, it's almost, in terms of height, it's almost at her chin. Um, so both are in the middle, but you can see one is a alley's is just a little bit lower. So what's better about lower is from pocket to release, that's what this distance right here is what I call the shooting tunnel. So the longer the tunnel, the more you can generate speed and power. The shorter the tunnel, if Ali were to pocket here and release from here, it just means she can't create quite as much power. So Ali kind of pockets right about in the middle and releases in the middle. So pretty good consistency there from her, a different pocket height. Uh, Maddie Petrulia uh, from Hudsonville, uh, had a college basketball offer from Grand Valley as an eighth grader, shows her talent level, one of the best shooters, not only in West Michigan, but in the state. You can see when Maddie catches, pretty similar to Allie, pockets right in the middle. So, you know, 
for me, people say, what's a high pocket? A high pocket is if the ball gets to the height of your chin. So you can see Maddie's below her chin, but she's above like her, her belly button, her stomach level. You can see that she pockets right in the middle and then releases right in the middle too. So there's, you know, between Theron, Jillian, Allie, and Maddie, all players that pocket towards the middle. Um, here's a pocket that's a little bit lower. So Tommy Gregoire, a uh, junior from Granville, led the OK Red in scoring last year, uh, pr primed for a big, hopefully, summer season at some point, and then senior year at Granville. There's a little bit of a lower pocket. So you can see where Tommy starts as soon as he catches the ball here. The ball gets right to about right there. So still in the middle, you can see Tommy's a little bit further away from his body. Um, so when we're analyzing the pocket, not only are we analyzing where is the ball in terms of left, right, or high, low, how far is it away from your body? The further away from your body, a little bit harder to generate power, a little bit tighter and more compact, a little bit easier to generate power. And Tommy uh, also finishes in the middle. One of the good things about Tommy is that he's strong enough that he can also start his shot in a higher spot. So a little bit depends on the game situation, but he can also pocket the ball right about somewhere, not quite to there, but maybe right in um, his chest level if he needs to. But you can see his natural pocket is right about there, which is right at about his belly button um, and right in the middle. Uh, Brooke Toygo, who also plays for NBA sophomore at Forest Hills Eastern. You can see kind of how I analyze the uh, shooting pocket as I like to go in slow-mo, pass the player the ball, let them pick up the ball and see where they put it before it starts to go up. So right there. So Brooke's shooting pocket is kind of on right hip, so it's a little bit right of center, and it's about that same height as Tommy's, a little bit lower. As you can see, if Brooke moves the ball from through her shooting tunnel, stays just right of her her body and so you can see she moves it in a pretty good a to b format which you can tell by her elbow and her wrist so those are some examples of some videos of some players um, i want to show you a still shot too so here's alexis dunn an uh, eighth grader from greenville who's going to have an awesome high school career when i first started to work with alexis she pocketed the ball really high and she had trouble from 15 feet and out. So here's one of our beginning sessions. As she kept working and kept coming, we moved her shooting pocket from here to here. We moved it lower. And sometimes people are like, oh my goodness, how are you moving that shooting pocket lower? Um, we moved it lower so she could generate more power so she could become a better 15 to, to 18 to 21 um, foot shooter and it paid off big time. So you can see we moved it from right at about her chin to right at about her chest, just above her stomach, uh, to be able to increase a lot of that power. And it really, really paid off for her. So what does this all mean? And kind of, kind of tried to summarize it down here on the bottom, is first know where your shooting pocket is. Getting the ball in that shooting pocket to start your shot off the bounce or off the catch is important. Timing, timing, timing. So much of timing uh, depends on you originating your shot in as similar of a spot as you can as many times in a row as you can. That's why the details of shooting are so important. So first, know where your shooting pocket is and try to get at the ball there as often as you can. Second, know how your shooting pocket might impact your make or misses. Is my high shooting pocket making me miss short, which is possible? Is my low shooting pocket making me miss long? especially as I get stronger and bigger. That's possible too. Is my left or right shooting pocket impacting my misses left or right because my release point is left or right? So I think those are my big two messages to players. Know where your shooting pocket is and try to start your shot there as often as you can, knowing you won't always be able to because of game situations. And then second, know how that shooting pocket impacts your shot and, and consider changes if it leads to certain makes or misses. So there's number two uh, on our video series. Um, we started with hand placement on the ball, shot pocket location today. I'll be back next time to talk about kind of from the hips on down, the alignment and width of your feet at the starting, middle, and end position of your shot.